All right, so now we're going to swap out three millimeter connectors. As you see, they don't fit for four millimeter connectors. Basically, you need obviously your connectors, you need some heat shrink. I've got here. The heat shrink color isn't really that important, but if you really want to, you can color match it to your wires. So, cut that up like this. Basically, take the old heat sh heat shrink off. Oh, got two layers of it on it. And while you're doing this, you could warm up your soldering iron. Always be careful when using a knife. So we got our wires out in the clear. Now if you have a set of helping hands, very practical little tools to use. Now most of these connectors either have a hole like this here, I don't know if you can see it. Or they're indented this way, allowing you to add the, uh, the flux of the solder into the ho into the hole or onto the wire a lot easier. So what we're gonna do? That has to go like that. Okay, first we'll get the the wire out of this one. Basically, hold the piece that's coming off with something other than your fingers because it's probably going to hurt otherwise obviously you want a soldering iron that's hot enough to be able to melt thicker gauge wires uh, heat up thicker gauge wires that is Sometimes, when something's a bit stubborn to heat up, I add a bit more solder to it. The uh, core of the solder helps to spread the heat better because of the uh, acid that's already in it. Or the uh, flux or what they call the Rosen core there you go nice 
this and all right so now it's time to put them inside the new connectors so I'll put that right there like that hold it in so it's pretty simple actually those ones are quite easy to do compared to the other ones because they are open one do not want to be touching that with your fingers Basically when you're soldering you want to heat up enough so that your solder flows and fills fills the holes and cracks and encompasses the wire and so on and so forth. That is a good soldering joint when everything looks wet and shiny and then when it dries it gets all matted. Now all we need to do is put the heat shrink on it. Now you have a choice with the heat shrink. You could shrink it with uh, your soldering iron. You could shrink it with a heat gun. Or you could shrink it with a lighter. A lighter is preferable that it's a torch type lighter, like this one. There you go. Nice, neat heat shrinking. Obviously when you're using a lighter, don't stay in the same place for too long.
so there we go we proper, properly changed the connectors uh, heat shrink them and that's about it it's not really that hard and uh, now we have some nice connections voila